Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great today and I hope this video will help you with your studies. In this video I'm going to introduce you with the upper jaw which is the maxilla. Maxilla houses the upper teeth, it's the roof of oral cavity, it's the floor of nasal cavity and also makes part of the floor of the orbita has four processes the alveolar process the frontal process the zygomatic process which joins here in the sutura zygomatico maxillaris with the zygomatic bone or os zygomaticum as it spells in latin and also has the fourth process the palatinum process that joins with os palatinum in the back side i'll show that in another slide maxilla Actually, there are two maxilla, the right and the left, joined right here in the sutura intermaxillaris. Maxilla is part of the viscerocranium. Viscerocranium is the skeletal face. There are 14 bones that, makes up the, that make up the viscerocranium and maxillas are two of them. Uh, this is a frontal view of maxilla and here we have two important foramina. Foramina means hole. The, the left and the right, foramina infraorbitale. It's infra because it's below the orbita. This is the lateral side of the maxilla. Here we have the nasal cavity and a very important landmark which is the spina nasalis anterior. This is the processus uh, zygomaticus of maxilla which joins with the os zygomaticum or the zygomaticum bone. In this video I'm going to show you a really important landmark which is the zygomatic arc. It's made from the temporal process of zygomatic bone and the zygomatic process of temporal bone. This is a zygomatic arc right here. Zygomatica as I said before houses the upper teeth. Uh, the upper, in upper teeth we have six molars four premolars, two canines, two lateral incisors and two uh, central incisors. This is an inner part of maxilla. An important uh, canal is the canal incisivus, right here, which opens in the foramen incisivum. Here passes the nerve and the artery and the vein that comes uh, uh, and supply with blood the anterior teeth. With the red color is shown vomer. Vomer is a single bone that makes up the septum of the nasal cavity. It's a single bone. This is the process styloideus of the temporal bone. I want to mention this because it's very important. If you see uh, this process larger than usual, it means that there is a disorder in the body and it's called the Eagle Syndrome. So this is foramen incisivum, where the canal incisivum ends. This is the sutura palatina media. The upper teeth, as I said, six molars, four premolars, two canines, two lateral uh, incisive, and two central incisive. This is foramen palatinum maius, and here not written in the picture, is foramen palatinum minor. In this foramina, the palatine artery and vein passes uh, and supply the heart uh, plate formed by maxilla. So we have the palatinum minus here and palatinum minus here. Actually, it is shown in the other, in the other side. This is processus zygomaticus of maxilla, which joins with the uh, zygomaticum bone. 
an overview of the maxilla right here. Here are sinus maxillaris. Not all of it, but the the floor and part of the lateral wall of the sinus maxillaris. This is canalis naso lacrimalis. Again, the right and the left foramen incisum. This border here is called apertura piriformis, and this spine here is called spina nasalis anterior. Another view of maxilla with ma margo lacrimalis shown here. This is called incisura lacrimalis, the margo infraorbitalis. Margo means wall, so this is infraorbital wall that makes the lower border of the orbita. This is processus zygomaticus. Another important landmark is tuber maxillar. For the dentist, it's a really important uh, landmark. And this is the process alveolaris, which houses the upper teeth. This is the facies anterior of maxilla, with spina nasalis anterior shown as here. Here we have fossa canina. Fossa canina is very important in uh, medicine and again in the dental field because an infection of fossa, uh, of fossa canina causes the swelling of the face and uh, it's treated with a root canal and, and, and antibiotics. This is crista zygomatica alveolaris and foramen infraorbitale shown right here.